So today I've taken upon myself this hard endeavor to film a video about one day in a life of a busker, street musician. And today I'll be playing in Croatia, in Zadar. It's the most ancient town of Croatia. The historic city with a historic old town narrow streets, a lot of tourists. We are both currently on the island of Ugljan. By mistake, by a fortunate, yeah. fortunate mistake. By, by mistake, we came here yesterday with the ferry. And now, Alina is driving me to the ferry port. And I'm gone, and I'm thinking, where can I buy a ferry ticket here? Very interesting. Oh, well, that's the line for the ferry. And I hope I won't be late. Okay, I bought a ferry ticket and it departs at 12.55 from the wharf here on the seaside. So it's not only the ferry, I'm going to the boat probably. Yeah, that's my boat. Pretty cool. 12.55. In 20 minutes, it's departing the war, the breakwater. So this is the ferry, and this is the boat. This is the boat, and this is the ferry. And ferry carries cars, and boat apparently carries only passengers. So what I did not mention. Um, the ticket for the ferry costs 24 kuna, Croatian kuna, and it's roughly about, uh, I don't know, 3 euro 40, something like that. Pretty cheap with a car, it's a bit more expensive, it's like 20 euros with a car. So uh, somehow I am directly in the old town, so apparently this ferry boat that carries only passengers um, goes directly to the old town. So and as you can see, as you can see the old town of Zadar is really old and there are many people around just strolling. Um, already I saw a busker guy playing a guitar with an amplifier. Um, <sighs> some ancient cathedrals. Actually, the old town is really huge here. And paved stones. Many people looking at me as if I'm crazy talking to myself. No. Well, and actually, what is very interesting about these streets, they're very narrow and they're built like that just to give shade. And, yeah. and you see, like, very narrow streets, very high buildings, and people are just um, 
able to actually um, find shelter from the sun. So prices in Croatia, even in the old town, are quite reasonable, I'd say. Coffee is very cheap, 130, I mean, in euros. And so there's another view of the old town here. I think I have found a nice spot. They were just here on the corner, quiet corner in the streets. This shop is closed and there are some repairs going on. So I hope nothing falls on my head because it says it's dangerous, something can fall from above. Apparently it's not that easy to find a good spot here. Um, I just met a musician who told me to move to a better place. Um, so I went there, but that was actually a bit worse place than I was at the beginning. So I'm going back now. But I earned some, I don't know, 15 kunas or more, already 2 euros. Just like um, by playing a little bit, not much. Just sitting on the corner. So after a little bit of walking I changed my place to this corner of the square. And yeah, I'm playing here and it's pretty good. Somebody just gave me a euro, not only Kuna coins. So I think I've been playing now for one and a half hours at most and I left my water bottle in the previous place. So I played there on the square. I played there on the square and now I'm coming back for my water bottle. Uh, 
and it's still here. Amazing. Nobody has taken it. So, yeah, I was praying for one and a half hours and now I'm going to drink water and uh, count my cash. And I'm coming back in one hour because um, actually sort of the evening or nightlife will be starting soonish at six. And I was approached by an amazing woman that sells popcorn on the corner where I was paying and her husband is a former sailor and we had a nice chit chat. Mm. <laughs> Great. Well she approached me and she said, hey brother, I am selling popcorn here but you can play on the corner just over there and nobody will tell you anything. So I'm going back to that corner in one hour. I'm so thirsty. Um, this is actually a great city for busking, really good. Like you can play wherever you want. You can use amplification. Nobody's really chasing you away. Everyone's fine with it. And actually, I got a lot of paper bills. I'm trying to find a shady spot somewhere a bit out of the eyes of people to, mm, to count the amount of money I've got for one and a half hours. I'll be full power playing again soon. The good thing about this heat is you don't want to eat. Like you can live on water and on one tortilla or maybe another one in some minutes. Hey. Friendly locals. So, oh yeah, I need a shady spot. Jesus, it's like in the desert, man. Like this heat. So I'm together now with popcorn sellers. We are collaborating. They are selling on one corner and I am going to play nearby on another corner of the same street. Oh, so yeah, here you can see the very downtown spot of the Zadar and here you can see some ancient column remains from some Venetian or Roman times. Damn god, I was like, I'll be having a heat stroke soon. I'll be having a heat stroke if I don't find a shady spot. While also, while playing on the street, I met a cool German guy who told me about an amazing German handband player and even wrote down the name of that player so I'll, I'll look him up on YouTube so I counted my cash and I've earned back my ferry ticket my food of today and my coffee so it's two two three fifty three I've actually earned more than I spent today and this is just the beginning goal I have high hopes for the evening because during the daytime people are more lazy and not so into like um, spending money and appreciating that much of street art so I'm starting my second attempt at playing on the street uh, in the evening now again on the same square there are the popcorn sellers so I just finished playing my second set in the street and I played roughly for two hours and now I'm waiting for my ferry which is supposed to come I think in half an hour I'm going back how much did I earn I think I did pretty well but I have to count I have to count kunas and then I will update you I sort of earned if I think in euros something close to um, 30 euros per three hours so well it's sort of not a lot like my biggest amount that I earned during this trip with playing music in the streets was actually in Slovenia and Maribor I earned 50 
no 60 euros there in three hours like twice as much as here but if I take into account the local prices mm, 200 kunas something more I have it's like a lot like for local prices you can buy a lot for it and I actually this is an important point I realized that in the countries where you have these small nominal coins like Czech Republic um, Poland like you shouldn't um, rush and interpret that money in terms of euros actually when you exchange them for euros is not that much but also the prices here are very low like considerably lower than in countries with euro so yeah I was playing all together three and a half hours and strolling the city having a lunch checking out the historic old town and that's what a day in a life of busker probably looks like yeah so peace out i hope my ferry does not drown <laughs>